So we've got students who, you know, are they know that they want to go to a four-year college, so they join certain programs so that they can build on what they want to do in life, where it's taking you know, the principles of engineering class or the intro to design to explore that pathway. And we have also other students that don't want to go to a four-year college, and it's not for them, but they know that they want to make a living out of working at an auto repair shop or owning their own auto repair shop. So we get a wide range of students that want to join any pathway that interests them. We have close connections with the trade unions who are local here. We're, we're connected with um, local universities and city colleges, Stanford and San Jose City. We are working with summer internships to get people experience in the field and hooking them up to take the practice test to get into the unions, whether it's electrical or plumbing or framing or, or, or whatever. So the, a lot of those questions have to do with how does this help me get a job? And, and the answer is it, it helps quite a bit and a good paying job, not a, not a job digging ditches, but a, a job that is paying well, better than I get paid. Common questions that students ask me uh, before they join uh, our team, what is it that you do there? I said, we, we do there everything from basic oil changes to hybrid technology. And now we got into the electric, electric vehicle program. And very soon we're gonna get involved into the hydrogen fuel cell technology. Our auto transportation program attracts a variety of students, including the students that just want to work with their hands. We teach them welding here in our program also, and how to become a mechanic. At the same time, it attracts students that are interested into engineering. An engineer becomes a better engineer if they had any previous hands-on training, which we offer here. It was amazing how much I learned. It um, allowed me to learn everything from basic circuitry uh, to manufacturing and metalworking. So it has greatly influenced me to look into more engineering fields because, it's, because once you get into it and once you see the wonders of engineering, you just start to become amazed by how much you can do. So what I enjoyed the most was um, there's a lot of students like in my school that I guess I would have never met if it wasn't for this program and then the opportunities that came with the program like going to Microsoft and going to um, like other computer companies, I would have probably never heard about these opportunities if it wasn't for the class and the pathway itself. The most common question I get from students is would I be able to do animation for a living? And what I tell them is I graduated from the Eastside Union High School District and I was able to get into an animation program in college that eventually led me into a career in animation. And so I tell all my students all the time that you have the ability to be able to achieve your dreams and what you want to do. The most common question I have from parents other than can my child end up doing this for a living is should my child do this for a living? There are hundreds if thousands of people working on these films, video games, television, comic books, companies that work in marketing, where their child can be doing something that they love and want to do for a living, and someone has to do it. So what I tell parents all the time is, if someone has to, why can't your child be that person? So after high school, I plan on going to college and continue learning about um, video production and going into the industry. Um, the internship that I've already have been doing They've already made me um, confident in it, and it's something that I really plan on trying to do. The most important thing is our students being able to have success, whether it's college or whether it's in their careers, and that's what I hope that I can achieve for each one of my students. I think the thing I like most about the students in my pathway are, are the ones who come in, and maybe they know nothing about construction or how to work a saw or a table saw, maybe the noise even scares them at first, but it's those students who uh, come in and they're excited to learn. And so you take someone who knows very little, and then I love watching them at the end of the year look back and go, oh, remember that project that we did? Remember how easy that was and how hard it seemed at the time? So it's the students, and I get a lot of them, who are um, willing to try something new even though they know nothing about it. The big questions that I get from parents about the pathway is, you know, how, how will this help my, my student do whatever it is that they're going to do in life? How will it help them in college because my kid's going to college? Or how will it help them, you know, in their, in their professional career if it has nothing to do with construction? And, I, and my answer is, in every possible way, the construction and the building is just a medium that we're using to teach kids life skills 
that can translate. And a lot of the successes that come out of the program aren't in construction. Some of them are, some of the ones I'm most proud of are, but some of the ones that have been most successful in life and are doing the best in terms of you know, their financial stability and, and where they're living aren't in construction, but they've taken those skills outside. And so parents um, have concern that maybe uh, we're not filling that gap. We, we are um, in teaching those transferable skills. The, the real tangible benefits come in the sense that um, people are able to take their academic knowledge that before was just book knowledge and actually apply it to something. And I hear it over and over and over. Um, I heard a kid maybe a month ago say, say to me, oh, that's what the Pythagorean theorem is for. I mean, he knew how to do it, but then here it is and here's how it is something uh, that, that makes sense. So, um, and a lot of those kids, most of my kids don't go into construction, but they all benefit from having a knowledge of what, what it takes to install this window right here, what it takes to install that wall. Um, it, it empowers them throughout their, throughout their life.